Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a Visual Code Studio Code extension to um, upload a file to your server as soon as you save the file. So you can be writing some code, you just save the file, it automatically uploads to your server. It will save you a lot of time. And so to, for this video, what I've done is I create a folder called CPS276, which is something I suggest that you do. Uh, for me, I put it in my uh, C drive under um, my user, which is um, for me is 17347, but you might be your name. But you can put the folder wherever you want, but just create a folder called CPS276. That's um, what I suggest that you do. Okay. And then when you come over to VS Code here, you want to, um, first off, you want to make sure you have the extension installed. So what you do is you click with these little blocks here, it says extensions. And the one you want to be looking for is this SFTP1 from Lixie Momo. Or how we pronounce it. So the way you do it is you just do SFTP, and it will probably be the first one. All right, just look for this one right here, and you'll be fine. Now for me, I already have uh, this installed, so I don't need to install. But the, all you do is just click on install, and it will install right away. Okay. So now what you do is you come up here to uh, file, and open folder, and go to wherever that folder is. So for me, it's uh, it's on my C users one seven three four seven and CPS276 right here. So I select this folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my assignments and everything for this course in this folder that needs to be on the server. Okay, so that's what I'm going to end up doing. And it's going to be actually very simple. Now I've already created my DigitalOcean droplet, so I'm going to be all set to go. So now what we need to do is I, I have my folder right here, and I'm going to go Control shift p and if it doesn't pop up right away, just start writing SFTP and it will uh, come up right here. See SFTP config? Go ahead and click that. And it's going to create this folder called .vs code and it's going to give you this little SFTP JSON file. And so what you do for the name is it can be any name you want. So I'll just do uh, CPS276, uh, okay? Uh, I'll put class. Uh, as far as the host goes, that is going to be the IP address to your uh, DigitalOcean droplet. So for this one, uh, for this video that I created, it's this one right here. Whoop. Okay, make sure it's correct. So mine's 137-184-11011, okay? And you wanna keep SFTP, uh, leave that alone. Port 22, that's fine. For your username, you wanna put in root because when you set this up, you should've, um, well, you would've been given a, a root access and your password and everything and I told you just to keep that so just set it up as root and then the remote path this is where a lot of students kind of mess it up it's forward slash bar um, www forward slash html just like that and then what I would do is create another one called cps276 okay and uh, just leave it at that uh, upload on save uh, to true now if you want to you could also put in one that says um, password once I can write it, and, uh, and then in quotes you put in your password followed by a, a comma. Now I'm not going to do that for this video because I'm going to get the password out for this one, but I'm just giving you an example. All right, so um, if you don't put your password in, then that's fine. They'll just ask you for it every time. But this is the information that you need, and once you have that set up, just go ahead and save it. And now what we can do is we can start putting. Um, things into our directory and we can do it right here from uh, VS Code. So if I uh, click here for say a new folder and this is where you gotta be careful. See how I put the new folder inside my VS Code folder? See that? Well let me do it again. See how it did that? Okay so I'm gonna call this assignments but you want to make sure it is not here you don't want it inside the VS Code folder. It just does that a lot of times. Um, you want it actually in the CPS276 folder. And if you can't move it out, if you can't get it and drag it out, that's okay. Just go to your folder here, open up the one on your local machine, and open up VS Code. See how I have assignments right there? Just drag that right into 276, and now it's gonna be set up correctly. This is how you want it. You do not want it inside the .vs code. That will cause you problems. So if you come here and you close this, you see it's there now. And then it will tend to be okay. I just Sometimes it does that and it's really really a simple fix, but it throws students some major curveballs. Okay, so that would be uh, your assignments directory. Now what I would suggest that you do is um, put another folder inside the assignments directory called assignment one. 
and that's of course where you'd put all the files that you need for assignment one. So now this one can be in the assignments directory, so this is perfectly fine. So inside assignment one, I'm going to create a new file, and I'm going to call it index.php, just like that. Okay, and then when I um, tab out of it, you can see that I have the assignment one, I have index.php. Um, you can see assignments, assignment one, index.php, so it's sitting right here. And if you go to the folder that we uh, created, there's assignments, there's assignment one, and there's the index page. So everything's working out just fine. All right, so now I have all this, and I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, if, you, if you have Emmet installed, which you should when you install VS Code, if you put in an uh, exclamation point, hit the tab key, you kind of get this nice little default web page template. And so I'm just gonna just put uh, test page in the title, it doesn't really matter what I do. And then I'm just gonna do uh, this, and I'm gonna say, um, hello, class. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And when I save that, it's gonna ask me for my password. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my password. And it's gonna uh, connect, and it's gonna try to upload this. And you might get this little error message down here, no such file and it acts like it's not there, that is a bug in the program. So if you do get that, don't worry about that. If it says no such file, then that's a bug. If it says something else, like it couldn't connect or whatever, that's a different situation. Okay, so I wanna check to see if this um, got on there. All right, so what I can do is I go to my uh, my browser, and this is the web address I have right here uh, for this particular account, all right? And what I need to do is forward slash CPS 276 just like that and you can see that it gave me uh, this is what's known as a directory structure and there's my assignments folder right there it it uploaded that there's my assignment one folder right there uploaded that and there is my uh, index.php file hello class right there so you can see that everything that I had it do right here it did now if I change this so I'm just do a dot and I'm gonna say more text here go ahead and change it I save it. It will not ask me for my password this time because I've already done it. That will do that pretty much for each session you do. Now, if you reopen VS Code later, you're going to put your passcode in. Use it just one time. And then, of course, I have this little um, error message pop up. Again, just ignore it because it's fine. Because if you go here to the browser and you just refresh the browser, look at that, more text here. That's how simple it is. So as you're writing your code, and you'll see me do this in class quite a, quite a bit, as you're writing your code right here on your uh, on your page, all you gotta do is just save it, go to your browser window, make sure to go to wherever that file is, which in this case is where it is, refresh your screen, you'll see your updates right away. So this will be a huge time saver uh, in, you know, in uh, writing your code. And then what I would do, of course, is when you go to your next assignment that you have to do, so I can click on assignments again, add a new folder, and you can see it, it created it. I'm gonna put in assignment two, Okay, so now I have um, assignment one, and then here's my assignment two. So this is when we'd have assignment two uh, to do. And you just click on assignment two, you add a new file. I'll just do the same thing, index.php. Okay, and now I have, you can see that's all set up. And then I'll just do my little trick, and I'll come down here, and I'll just call this, uh, I'll just call this assignment two. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm gonna come in here, and I'll just do hello class assignment two. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, save that like that and go ahead or save it. And then if you come to folder and you go back to assignments, you can see I have assignment one, assignment two. This is on my local drive just to show you what's going on. If we go to the browser and I go back to my assignments directory right here, you can see there's my assignment one, there's my assignment two, and there's my hello class assignment two as soon as I click on it. Okay, so you can see that what I'm doing is I'm creating all this stuff on my local machine, and that you can see by looking at right here. And then what I'm doing is once I save it, it automatically is uploading it all to the server, which I can always check in my browser window. Okay, so that's that's what's happening with uh, with that. So really, it's a pretty simple process. You create the local files, you save them, automate it to your server, and then you can just go to the, to the browser window, type in the correct path to where that file is located. And that's it. Okay, so remember, I just want to make sure you see this part again because it's really important. This part right here is the name can be anything you want, 
The host is your IP address. It's your IP address to where your DigitalOcean account is, so, so it's not going to be this one. Uh, SFTP for the protocol. The port will be 22. Your username will be root, and your remote path will be var www.htmlcps276, and then make sure to have upload on save to true. That's it.